Hey Dan, hey Mickey. It's Thursday, uh, it's not Thursday, it's Wednesday, August the 18th. Um, and I'm sitting out in my backyard on one of the kind of a few nice days, really nice evenings we've had. Uh, it's sunny. See? It's barbecuey. It's dogs playing out. Hello, Pip. I know. Nikki, you want one of those. Admit it. Um, and Dan, you have made a lot of videos. Uh, you made the ones on why you are a Baha'i, parts one and two. Um, and I am curious, did you watch the... There was a video response to that one that we had to okay. I don't know if you ever went through and okayed that. Um... But it was on um, Islam. And I've watched some of it, but not all of it. Hold on a second, I need to go flip the chicken. And no, Nikki, I'm not speaking metaphorically. Literally, I'm going to flip the chicken. There's the chicken. And I'm now going to flip it. Woo! Um, as I said, I've watched a little bit of it, but not not all of it. So I'm gonna probably watch that tonight, and eventually I'll respond to those videos. Oh, I don't know. Shoo! Go away! Go get Sadie! Go get that dog! All right. Anyway, but for tonight's video, I'm gonna respond to the. Um, uh, I'm gonna talk about MLS. I know. Go figure, right? And Nikki, what did you say about? Major League Soccer that you don't care enough to actually watch Major League Soccer. Yeah, I know, but um, what you don't know is actually I I have a um, a long-standing debt to Dan, a debt of honor, I guess you could call it, uh, which is forcing me to do a lot of things I wouldn't normally do, at least not by choice. So, um, yes, actually, I am a woman. Dan's the only one that knows that, so don't tell anybody. Anyway, the um, the LA game, um, I didn't actually watch the LA game versus um, who were they playing? Portland. But I did watch the highlights twice, in fact, three times, uh, in fact. Um, and uh, your hero scored. That's good, right? Uh, and that was actually a great goal. Um, the keeper was slightly shielded, but he struck it. And what you never, we never got to see it from behind the goal, but he struck that ball so hard that before he could even react, it was it was past him in the back of the net. In fact, you know how hard he struck it because when it hit that net, it bounced back out almost to the 18-yard line on its own. Uh, and it was just one of those, uh, you know, what I've come to understand is one of those typical Donovan strikes where he hits it with such, uh, you know, he doesn't hit it, you know, he won, he, he hits it on the first touch, um, and he doesn't try to overstrike it, and either whiff it, or send it up into the, um, you know, 40th row, he, it's, it's a nice, so what he does is he uses the inertia of the ball, um, and redirects it, and it was just, it was just, yeah, it was just a really pretty goal. So, um, the second goal, uh, oh, but also on that first goal, Keen had a great move. You know, it was just that little, it was just that little jiggle, and it got the defender off balance, and he slipped. So that was good. Um, the second goal, uh, I think the keeper really was shielded on that one. I mean, it was still a a reasonable goal and bad defending on Portland, but, um, but again, you really didn't get a good look at it. Um, that that last goal, Beckham's goal, was, I mean, that was nice, too. I mean, it was just, uh, it was a great, again, not over over kicking, over shooting it, but just directing it and bending it up into that top right corner. That was that was cool. Um, 
again, poor defense on Portland. I mean, what the hell? I mean, they were... The guy was just sort of lackadaisical coming off the 18-yard line to defend that. And, and Beckham's first touch was so far away from him that the defense should have been able to get to that or at least put up some, you know, greater fight than they did. But, uh, oh, well. Um, and, um, oh, and he did have a pretty haircut, too. So, um, Beckham, if you're watching this, uh, uh, nice haircut. I, I like that. Um, did you watch the highlights from the Real Salt Lake uh, and the, um, I think I'm going to call them Spank, the Sporting Kansas City uh, match? Um, there was one thing that I wanted to comment on, and that was uh, right in the first half where Kimura was at the top of the 18. And the Real Salt Lake player comes in and jumps, jumps up really high. And Kamara doesn't even move. It's not like he tries to undercut him. Jumps up really high, moving laterally, turns his back and ends up falling over backwards onto his back. Um, well, you know, Real, um, Kansas City's not going to stop a tie. I mean, they're right there at the 18. So he, you know, passes it back out and they work, a, work it in and, you know, and actually get a, at least a decent chance on goal. Uh, but... You know, especially the guy with the dreads. I don't know who that is for Real Salt Lake. He's just pitching a hissy fit because he feels like the ref should have called it, called some sort of foul. Um, which, whoa! Sorry, got a little flamage going. Woohoo! Flamage! Flamage! Well, let's move these down there. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Dan, how many videos of mine have you watched where I burn my meat? Uh, again, oh, not speaking metaphorically there, Nikki. <laughs> so anyway, the guy with the dreads is just pitching a hissy fit. He wants a, I think he wants a foul, and plus he wants, um, you know, Kansas City to, you know, to kick the ball out and stop play. But man, they're in the middle of an attack, and and that was entirely that guy's, I don't know, that guy's fault from Real Salt Lake. I mean, he he comes running in, leaps up turns backwards, falls on it, you know, gets gets his feet. He doesn't get his feet knocked out from under him. He really sort of knocks his own feet out from under himself by jumping over Kimura and knocks the wind out of himself and then lays there waiting for play to be stopped. Uh, you know, and, and again, I, I don't see why they should have stopped the attack just because of um, just because of that. So I wouldn't. Um, so that's my uh, MLS comments for today. Uh, I did want to comment also on that article. Um, and, you know, I, I noticed it was, um, was it, is it Slate? Slate? Slate.com? That's where you're reading the article. But my question for you, I mean, and, and I know that they probably publish a lot of stuff, um, but um, what I can't figure out, and I mean this seriously, is why... You were taking it so personally, what she wrote. I mean, first of all, I couldn't even figure out what the hell she was talking about because she was writing about a review of a book. And it, I mean, it, actually, I had to write down a little flowchart to figure out whether she was talking about herself, the reviewer, or the author of the book's comments. You know, and again, I, I mean, I, plus I got all caught up in the, you know, eating placentas business. So that kind of threw me off. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, of all the uh, of all the things out there to read, um, you know, why are you reading that one? Maybe it's because it was in Slate dot com, and because I know you read a lot of stuff out of there, so it just pushed your buttons for some reason. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there to uh, um, you know going to work you up, namely the, um, you know, the blog, the bloggy stuff on the MLS soccer sites, um, watch out, dog, shoot, ow, shoot, um, so anyway, I, uh, but I did read it, and, I, you know, you know, it's, um, 
Oh, the doggy's having fun. You know, my feeling was, well, I mean, of all the things I could, again, be reading out there and doing with my time, that was not one of them I felt like I really wanted to spend a lot of time on. I mean, honestly, I just, uh, yeah, I read it. and But, I mean, yeah, there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot of other stuff out there to read and to, to spend time thinking about that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, and I'm not sure if you were debating it because you felt like it was something that you wanted to bring up to us because, you know something worthy of debate but it was um, you know if you're expecting some difference of opinion from us maybe from Nikki I don't know but uh, but yeah I just um, um, I read it so there's other dogs walking by and Sadie doesn't uh, likes to be she's very proprietary about her yard hey 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 hey, hey. Fortunately, I don't, with Sadie running, I don't need to thatch. She thatches the yard for me. Pip is like, what the hell are you doing? Oh yeah, good dog, Pip. Way to bark. Oh, now I gotta poop. Whew, worked it all out. I'm glad you saw that. I know you're glad. And Dan, that's, uh, we'll have that cleaned up before the party. So, so I think that's about where you're going to be playing live music during the birthday party. But anyway, I, uh, yeah, I, um, tell me more about that, you know, that article and why you read it. Um, that's what I'm more interested in. I, you know, we could debate the, the point, but I'm not really sure why. I'd rather debate something else that's more interesting. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's all a plot, right? It's like listening to Fox News. So, uh, it's all a plot. It's all somebody's, you know, being subversive. Uh, it's funny, though, because today at the bank, uh, what was the what was the periodical? It was a sort of a mainstream periodical, but it was talking about, actually, it was hilarious. I, I would, I'm going to have to go back to the bank and get it, because I would love to review this on one of our YouTube videos. It was about um, professional women who are working, they're making money, they're taking care of the home, but there's a group of them that what, that, that what they really want is to engage in um, sexual fantasies when they get home. They want to be spanked and dominated. So I, I thought that was pretty funny uh, in light of the article that you sent. So, uh, so you see, there is some validity to what this woman is saying. It's all a big plot by men to um, subjugate women. So uh, I think after I finish flipping my chicken, I'm going to go subjugate my wife. Uh, so, on that note, I think for today, I and my dogs are still dead. <laughs>